Is this your primal fear experience? I can't. Oh my god, he killed me. Oh my god. He died. What the fuck? All right, I'm all that sorry. I need some time to cool off. Well, if it is, you're not alone. This is the hardest oh. mod on Ark. I developed a foolproof way to quickly and easily start your primal fear journey. So if you're interested, keep watching. Before that, if you want to know the different dino tiers that spawn and how to tame them, check out the video by my friend, Matty Buckets, located in the description after you finish watching this one. So when you first spawn in, just hope you don't get killed by an alpha dodo instantly. Yes, that's happened to me multiple times. After you wake up, gather the essentials, fiber, wood, stone, and flint. After you get some basic tools, it's important to check if your map has any of these crates. They usually come with some really nice metal tools, which will set you up for a really good start. Once you have some basic tools and weaponry, kill any dota you see, especially the alpha ones. They give tons of XP. Now, if you played just the Primal Fear mod without anything else, then good luck to you. That's going to be a challenge. I highly recommend you add some more mods to make your life better. Things like A+, Awesome Spyglass, and Soul Traps are the bare minimum. If you have A plus additions, make yourself a cloth shirt and a quiver for a boost in speed and stamina. If you don't have A plus additions, then there's no need for you to make a shirt. After you've killed some dinos and you've gotten some levels, make sure you put it into movement speed. Health won't do you much good in this mod pack since most dinos will one-shot you. The next step is to make yourself a primal spear. This item lets you knock out dinos by spearing them. I recommend bowling them first though, just in case they try to run away or attack you. Alright, so for early game tames, I highly recommend you get an Alpha Otter or an Elder Otter. These guys are really good in the early game. They don't attack you. They're a passive tame. All you have to do is tame them like a normal otter. You drag a fish to them, they'll eat it, and then you got them. They do a lot of damage, and they also have decent movement speed with a good health pool as well. And they're also rideable, so they're just good all-around tames to get around, so I highly recommend you get them. If you can't get an otter, then I would recommend an iguanodon, um, as you'll need them later on in the game regardless, because you will need seeds for certain recipes, so it's just good to have one. And they're also really good at harvesting berries, which you do need in the early game to make these things called healing stews. They're essential in keeping you and your dinos alive. As you can see, they take a fair amount of berries to make, however, they instantly heal 5% of your total health, regardless of how big your health pool is, so they're nice to have. They also give you full hunger, if you're hungry as well, so... You won't have to make like cooked meat and all that if you don't want to. With one tame in the bag, it's time to build a base. I would recommend somewhere safe, even though that doesn't really exist in Primal Fear, but somewhere that's not a beach, more likely an elevated surface with an easily blocked off entrance. This seems like a good sp Oh, yeah. So, watch out for kamikaze dodos. They will ruin your day. I can't tell you how many times I've died to them because I'm just blind, but these guys are brutal. They're ruthless, I'm telling you right now. And, well, this brings me to another point. You will lose tames, and you will die a lot. So make sure you're mentally prepared for that. Alright, back to it. This is where I'm choosing to build mine. With a basic shelter ready, you can now mine some metal and get slightly better flak armor. It's not going to help you a whole lot, but it might give you some peace of mind. Make sure to make yourself a primal smithy and forge as soon as you can. That way you can make some primal fear items quickly. After getting better equipped, you can now attempt to tame some better creatures. My personal recommendation would be an elder moss chops. These guys are really strong early game tames, they're even better than otters in most cases, and they make harvesting blood and hide super simple. In this mod, blood and hide from the different tiers of dinos are very useful in making a multitude of items, namely armor. The easiest way to get an elder moss chops is to be smart. First, pick a low level one, one with low torpor. After you've found one that you like, bola it. I promise it works even though they look ginormous. After you got him bullied, make sure to spear it to trank it out. It's better than just normal trank arrows, so make sure you got a lot of spears because they can break pretty quickly. If you don't manage to trank him out the first time, that's okay. They typically don't fight back, but they can, so be cautious. After it escapes the bola, wait for it to stop running and try again. Their torpor goes down super slow, so you've got time, you can relax. After you got him knocked out, feed it some berries. If you manage to find some tame helper by killing the alpha dinos earlier to get XP, then I would recommend to use it, it just makes your life a whole lot better. And boom! You now got yourself a really strong early game tame. These guys are beasts at harvesting materials too. With a moss chops tamed, or an otter tamed, or both, you can now kill basic alpha slash apex dinos on the beach. Things like dodos, dillos, pegos, that kind of stuff. I wouldn't go for anything stronger just in case. After you've harvested yourself enough blood and hide from the alpha dinos, you can go to the primal smithy and make yourself a full set of alpha armor. Now with that made, you should be able to withstand a couple more hits from the toxic or alpha dinos, but it's not going to be too much. Again, all the dinos are extremely strong in this mod pack. Alright, the final thing I will teach you for the beginner guide is how to tame better creatures. The first thing you have to do is tame a vanilla art creature because you need eggs. 
The vanilla eggs are used for kibble to tame toxic creatures, which are the very first tier in the Primal Fear mod. My recommendation for the vanilla creature to tame is a dodo. They lay eggs really fast. Make sure you to get yourself a male and female because they'll lay eggs faster. And if you get an over raptor, it will make them lay even quicker. While the dodos are laying their eggs, make sure you make a crop plot to get yourself some crops. You will need it for the kibble. If you don't want to wait, you can also find a location on the map where the plants naturally spawn. You'll need rock carrots, so if you're on Ragnarok, you can go to the highlands and get yourself some rock carrot. After you have enough eggs and the crops required for the toxic kibble, go to the beach and knock out a toxic dino. Again, I recommend a dodo for the same reasons I stated earlier. After it's been tranked, place the kibble in its inventory and tame the dino. With that, you've officially tamed your first toxic dino. With the basics down, you pretty much know what to do for the rest of the mod. It's very formulaic. You go from toxic to alpha to elemental and you use the eggs of the previous tier to tame the next tier. So from toxic eggs, you can make alpha kibble and so on and so forth. Again, to get more information on this, check out my buddy's video located in the description. Now, for some final tips. I personally recommend you either increase the egg lay rates or you get a lot of dinos that lay eggs because you'll be needing a lot of kibble. It gets, it gets crazy later on. If you got an otter, I'd recommend killing dinos in the ocean. The otters are surprisingly strong and agile, so you can kill enemies without being hit too much. Not to mention, you can kill the Igthys, which don't fight back, and get a lot of alpha and fable blood very quickly. Use tame helper whenever possible. It is such a time saver. Toxic, alpha, and apex dinos all have the chance of having loot, so make sure to check their body after you kill them. Get Rudolph as soon as you're able to. They are so good. They're super quick. They have crazy knockback when you attack. They do a decent amount of damage. They're passive tames, so you just have to trank them out and uh, and put some mayo berries. They're super easy to get, so get them as soon as you can. Uh, another tip is don't get too attached to dinos. Uh, they're more than likely going to die pretty quick. Finally, death is a part of this mod pack, and I mean a lot. It's a learning experience, so don't get too mad if you die. It happens. With that, I think you're ready to start Primal Fear and not rage as much as I did when I first started. Good luck. I can't, I can't do this, man. I can't do it, bro. I'm this close to quitting for today. I can't. This is so fucking bad. Non-stop L's, bro. Like, what the fuck?